Today, more students in Montgomery County are returning to schools for in-person learning. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is live at Royersford Elementary School, where many parents are upset at the late notice they received. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, Jim. Students participating in in-person instruction will be returning to school today. Now, this was a last-minute decision by the district that did not sit well with a number of parents. There's a lack of consistent communication from you. Who decided to make you king to overrule the entire board and say, people, you know, stop having kids go to school today. Backlash from parents taken aback by the Spring Forge School District's decision at the 11th hour. I know a lot of people were upset by that. I know there were a lot of people thinking that we were changing course and suddenly we were, the board was going to become, vert, you know, go move virtual. The plan for in person instruction was approved back in October, but with the rising number of COVID 19 cases, families weren't sure what direction the Spring Forge School District would take. I think maybe we could have done this in a different Format. School Superintendent Dave Gooden recognizes the significant increase of COVID-19 cases in the Springford area, but with virtual classrooms at capacity, he says the goal is to reduce the number of students in each class, which will lead to a better learning environment. When students return to school today, desks will be separated by a minimum of five feet. I did have our maintenance go through last week and uh, recheck every classroom and get our seats as far apart as we possibly can because what it does is helps with contact tracing when we do have a positive case. And there is a possibility classes will pivot back to virtual once there's a certain number of cases in the building. We are going to have periodic uh, move at the building level to virtual learning. It's, gonna, it's not a matter of uh, if it's going to happen, it's when. It will happen uh, because we've been tracking numbers. The school superintendent says the district is committed to continuing in-person learning. Parents do have the option to continue virtual instruction. Reporting live from Montgomery County, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thanks so much. And this morning, Spring Ford parents are sounding off on social media. One parent saying the situation has been handled in an unprofessional manner. He says canceling a set return date, leaving students with uncertainty, and then telling them to report the next day as they're getting ready to go to bed is unacceptable, adding, what is this amateur hour? Another parent saying in part emails at 8 p.m. and text messages and phone calls at 9.40 p.m. to announce next day reopening, unacceptable. But still, some parents don't seem to be on board at all with returning to school. This parent asking, have the COVID cases in our community suddenly plummeted? If not, why are we putting people back into buildings again? And the return of school, as you see, continues to be a hotly debated topic, and we have continuing coverage for you. You can always get the very latest on CBSPhilly.com and around the clock on our streaming service, CBSN Philly.